Hello everybody, welcome to another installment of the Etnire Video Library. In this video we're going to explain the functions and the screens in the rear control box. Okay, so in the rear control panel, we'll go through everything that's back here. The main thing is the emergency stop button. This is actually a power button. So if you push it in, everything on the distributor will stop. It will kill the power totally to everything. So to turn that on, you simply turn it to the right and it pops back out, which will then send power to our control boxes. The basic hydraulic functions of a distributor, you have a shift, wing folds and lift are all hydraulic functions. These switches are also located in the cab. You have your burner controls to light your burners, upper and lower burner. A timer reset for your burners. So if you watch the video for the burners, it will explain the functions of these. A power washdown, which is a diesel fuel pump to be able to pump diesel fuel into our asphalt pump. An air bar latch so that our bar is secure when we're going down the road, we can latch it into place with a, an air latch. The message clear switch is if on your display, if you would ever get a warning message on there, which are, are simply tank level low, low voltage, um, hydraulic oil temperature, warnings of that type, it will flash at you on this screen. And by simply pushing the clear button, it will go away and you'll be able to operate without seeing the warning flash. You have a select switch and a value switch. These control your display. And we'll explain that in a second. But you also have a manual and an auto for your pump speed. In the manual position, you'll see an M flash on your screen, which means we're in manual. And simply by hitting start, you'll be able to control your pump speed with the manual knob. In the auto position, Everything will go off of the touchpad. So there's presets gallon per minute for every function. So in the auto position, if you hit start, your pump will run at whatever the preset happens to be. Newer units will have a tank valve switch, which is auto or off. This is nothing more than your suction valve or your tank valve. So in the auto position, it will automatically open and close depending on which function that you select from your keypad. In the off position, my tank valve will remain closed no matter what position I'm in here. This is mainly for a service function. So in the off position, I can work on the truck with product in my tank and it will keep my tank valve closed at all times. So 90% of the time, you're gonna leave it in the auto position. Now over on the touch screen, we have a home, and then we have a function for everything that we wanna do. Circulate in tank, circulate in bar, hand spray, suck back, load, transfer, unload, flush, and some units will use the auxiliaries depending on the options that we have. We'll be on auxiliary one or auxiliary two. The deal with the touchpad, is you can simply push the button and your valves will change on the distributor. It'll go if you're in auto to a preset gallon per minute and you hit start and your pump will run from there. Now just looking at the screen, you have an FPM which stands for feet per minute that will be telling us how fast we're going when we're spraying. A GPM, gallons per minute, will tell us how fast our pump is turning. You'll have an A, if I'm in the auto position, or an M if I'm in the manual position for my pump control. Number of feet. This is how many switches I have turned on in my cab, so this is how wide I want to spray in feet. And then of course my application rate in gallons per square yard. If we use the select switch, it will take us to another level of screens. This truck is equipped with the counters, so as I'm spraying, it will keep track of how many square yards I sprayed, how many feet that I traveled, and how many gallons that I used during the course of that shot. Those can be cleared by where the black box is, by value down, we'll clear these two. 
If I select over to make the black box go over to my gallons, I now can clear that with the value down. Those will continue to count every time our spray bar is on. So you can keep track for all season, per job, whatever you want to do. They will not clear unless you manually clear them. The next line is TGT, which is target temperature. This is how we control our burners. Um, it gives us the temperature of the oil in the tank and the preset number that we want our burners to go to. So you can go to the video that explains on how to light the burners for instructions on your burners. If I value or select over one more time to get to the next set of screens, SUF stands for startup factor. Factory setting is 100%. 50% circ is a fa factory setting, which is determining how fast my pump is running while I'm sitting still circulating in the bar. And then a minimum pump gallons, GPM. This is makes it so my pump will never go below this number whether I'm sitting still or spraying. We'll explain that in a future video of, of what those entail. Then if you keep cycling the select button, you'll end up right back at the beginning screen. So this just gives us an overview of the rear panel. If you have any further questions, please reference any future videos that will come out or look at your operations manual. As with any piece of equipment, please follow all the safety guidelines in the operations manual and wear the proper personal protection equipment required by your company or the state. We all want to return home safe every night, so be safe out there. You can contact your local dealer or the Etnire factory to talk to a professional service or parts representative at the information provided on the screen. Thank you and have a good day.